It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly ends of this operation. Well, you're back. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties, they didn't make it. It's not like we were eager to stick around, but we had injured people on Rick Up coming at some point, just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett, bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Not quite. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got them in a headlock drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temp. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Be a while before Argos comes to pick me up. I'll be here if you need me. And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me.
luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at it. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. My contract's up with Argos and... Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch... I can't believe Barrett snuck a transmission to us. He always was a way. Damn him. Is it weird that I still... Here. Nervous I have something for you. We're literally best friends. You're welcome. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Something you need? Sure. Good. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened. But their lives were so busy, they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my sick mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers. Not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. Oh, okay then. When you have a few moments, there's thing I'd like to discuss. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Bectera. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, how did you feel? No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Hmm, that 
that's an interesting reaction. But I suppose it shouldn't suit me. When dealing with the artifacts, common sense tends to go right out the window. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Not much, I'm afraid. All I have to show for my efforts are eyewitness accounts, scores of inconclusive metallurgical test results, and wild theories. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well... An explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. I knew I picked the person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to and for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> It's the best decision I've made in a long time. Something I can help you with, Dusty? Sure how much longer our outpost can hold on. We don't have much time. Private Mahoney out. 